Ukraine's invasion of Russia's Kursk region has dramatically changed the dynamics of the war between the two countries, emboldening Ukrainian troops and citizens. But as The Hill writes, the strategy is not new. Israel made a similar move in the 1973 Yom Kippur War. In that war, Israel was initially on the losing side, caught off guard by the invasion of both Syria and Egypt. Within days, Israel began to recover and stopped the attacker's advance, but a more decisive step was needed to turn the tide of the war. Thus, the strategy of crossing the Suez Canal and taking the battle to Egypt was conceived. The Israelis invaded Egypt, isolated the Egyptian Third Army and closed in on Suez with the Egyptian capital Cairo in their sights. This changed the course of the war as the two superpowers backing each country, the Soviet Union backing the Egyptians and the United States backing the Israelis, both became concerned about being drawn into conflict and calls for a truce intensified. As The Hill writes, the Ukrainian offensive in Russia is reminiscent of the early successes achieved by the Israelis. Moscow is only 300 miles from these front lines. Although few think the Russian capital will actually be in danger, its proximity to the fighting is disconcerting. It may be enough to shift the course of the war by taking the fight deeper into Russia, as the Israelis did by crossing the Suez Canal and threatening the heart of the Egyptian army and its major cities, the article says. At the same time, the newspaper writes, Putin is in a different position than Anwar Sadat, the leader of Egypt at the time. For Egypt and Syria, a negotiated peace made sense because they had achieved some success, dealing a critical blow to Israel's self-esteem and bleeding its army dry. But for Putin, such a peace could be his undoing. If he is pushed to the negotiating table by a successful Ukrainian offensive that seizes Russian territory that Moscow cannot retake, it would undermine Putin's air of invincibility, an image already battered by his protracted war against Ukraine. The Hill writes, Forest fire broke out in the city of Feodosia on the Crimean Peninsula, local telegram channels reported. About 100 people were evacuated from the area where the fire broke out. The work of firefighters has been complicated due to the fact that the fire occurred in a mountainous area, as well as the hot and windy weather. More than 280 rescuers and 83 pieces of equipment are fighting the fire in Crimea. Me, eight helicopters have been brought in to extinguish the fire and have already dropped 35 tons of water in the area. It is forecasted that the fire will spread to the nearby area. No casualties have been reported so far. Thank you.